Some years ago, some of you remember when Gary Mathai, Nobel Prize winner, was here. Do you remember that? Yeah, she was amazing. And she initiated planting a billion trees. She inspired many of us and still does. Her daughter is continuing her work. But uh, she also inspired a young man who I met about uh, when he was 10 years old. And he was just full of excitement about Wingari. He was inspired by Wingari and he said, I'm going to get kids to plant a million trees in every country. We're going to look at a little video of this young man. that you give us children the chance to share our thoughts with you. It's not common, but we children think it should be common. Because for most adults, future seems to mean 20, 30 or 40 years. But for us children, 2100 is still in our lifetime. Forests are not only the livelihood of billions, but for us children, forests are our future. But we children don't understand why there's so little action. We have to take our future in our own hands. We have to protect the already existing forests. We have to keep the rainforest from disappearing. And in addition, we have to plant trees. It is now more than four years ago that we children started the Plant for the Planet Children initiative, planting one million trees in each country of the world. It is also more than four years ago that Vangari Matai started the Billion Tree Campaign. It is now time that we work together. We combine our forces, old and young, rich and poor, and together, we children think that we can manage to plant a trillion trees in 10 years. The Trillion Tree Campaign. This is our chance to kick off a global chain reaction. With you, we can start changing the world. Amazing. Well, <laughs> I didn't quite believe him when he told me, but then he did it, and he kept working. So, ladies and gentlemen, he's here today to tell you about his next big adventure, a trillion tree campaign. Felix, thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Jack. Go. When I was nine years old, my fourth grade teacher asked me to give a presentation about the climate crisis. When I prepared this presentation, I found out about Wangari Matai, a Kenyan who had planted 30 million trees in 30 years. And I thought that kids ought to help her. So at the end of my presentation, I told my classmates that we should plant one million trees in each country of the world. And many of my classmates loved the idea, even though I think none of us knew how much a million was or even how many countries existed in the world. But a few days later, we went outside and planted our first tree. A local journalist reported about us, so a few other schools started planting trees as well. And one of our older brothers made a very simple website for us, which was essentially just a ranking among local schools of who had planted the most trees. And lots of schools then wanted to outcompete their neighboring schools, and that's how it spread really quickly. After one year, we had planted 50,000 trees. After three years, one million. And children and youth all across the world started joining us and planting trees with us. But our members... <laughs> our members were doing more than just planting trees. They started giving presentations in their schools about the climate crisis and the importance of planting trees. And they started giving speeches to rotary clubs and similar events. Some then even talked to their mayors and local governments and even governors to convince them to do more. On three occasions, our members have given speeches to the United Nations General Assembly, and many have spoken in front of their national parliaments 
and had sit-downs with their presidents to convince them to do more to fight the climate crisis. Just last week, a 12-year-old called Jana gave a talk at a conference just after the CEO of Deutsche Bank and the governor of Germany's largest state. But the newspapers only cared about Jana. And maybe this is why the United Nations Environmental Program asked us children and youth to lead the Billion Tree Campaign. The campaign originally started by our hero, Vangari Matai, with the goal of planting one billion trees. Now, six years later, with the support of companies, governments, and organizations all across the world, we were able to plant not one billion, but 15 billion trees all across the world. So, a while ago, we started asking ourselves, where do we go from here? What is our next step? What is our next goal? And because of that, we had two big questions. One was, how many trees even exist in the world? And the second was, how many additional trees can we plant? So we asked lots of scientists, but nobody could really answer these questions for us, because nobody had really tried to find these answers until we met Tom, who started a three-year research project and then came back with, to us with two important answers. The first one was that three trillion trees already exist, and the second one is that we can restore another one trillion trees. So we knew what the next step had to be. We had to transform the billion tree campaign into the trillion tree campaign. And that's what we've been doing. And recently, we've also learned it's not just about how many trees we plant, but it's also about planting these trees well. That's something I learned on a trip to the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. When I was there, I found out that the average survival rate of tree planting projects in the area was just 22% which means that after the first year, 78% of the trees had already died. So what we wanted to do was to show that it's possible to restore forests more efficiently and more effectively. So we took charge of 22,000 hectares of de destroyed and degraded forests. That's about the size of 50,000 soccer fields, if that helps you to visualize it, those orange areas. And today, we employ 100 employees there that plant on average one tree every 15 seconds. That's about 6,000 trees a day. And we plant these trees with a survival rate of not 22, but 94%. And we do so at the cost of one euro per tree. And that includes our tree nursery, that includes actually planting these trees and then caring for these trees as they mature. And many of these trees that we plant there are funded by companies that want to make their contribution to fighting the climate crisis by voluntarily becoming carbon neutral. That means that these companies reduce their carbon emissions as much as possible but the emissions that they cannot avoid, they offset by planting trees with us. And of course, we use ArcGIS Online to make transparent who these companies and supporters are. Now, as we expand our efforts on the Yucatan Peninsula, we might be able to plant 100 million trees by 2030. But to reach our goal of the trillion trees, we need to do much more. We need to get millions of people all across the world to help us in planting trees. But how? I think the, the best, what we need to do is make it as easy and as fun as possible for anyone to get engaged and to plant trees. And to do that, we built an app. And this app goes live today. So I want to show you what it can do. I'm here. 
I'm here at trillionTreeCampaign.org where I have my profile. My personal goal is to plant 1,000 trees and I've already planted 559 of them. So if I'm out there planting trees, I can then go here and register the trees I planted with the exact species, the exact location, and if I want to, I can also add pictures of my tree and measurements. But what if I can't plant trees myself? Well, then you can just donate through the app to one of many fantastic tree planting projects all across the world. And for each project, you can see where they plant, you can see pictures and videos of the project, and also the survival rate of the trees planted and the cost per tree. We're starting today with our own Yucatan reforestation project, and in the next few days, we will add lots of other fantastic projects that can be supported. And when you donate, you can donate in one of 80 different currencies, and Plan for the Planet takes no share, but forwards the entire donations to the projects. And all the trees that I plant myself or I donate then show up in my tree counter. And I can also see what others are doing like my friend Paulina. I see she's already planted 120 trees, and I can just follow her, so I receive a no notification whenever she plants additional trees. Oh, and since it's her birthday today, I could also gift her some trees to help her reach her target. And here in the Explore tab, I can see all these 15 billion trees that have already been planted across the world. And I can also see the three trillion trees that currently exist and where those trillion additional trees can be restored. And here in the leaderboard, I can see which countries, which companies, which schools, which people have planted the most trees. So these are just some of the tools um, with which we want to make it as easy as possible for everyone to help us and plant trees. So for the last 10 years, we've been working on this. We built a global network of children and youth doing their best to plant as many trees as possible. We've built our um, Yucatan restoration project and the Trillion Tree Campaign um, with now its site as well. But to reach, to implement the vision of Vangari Matai and reach our goal of the Trillion Trees, we need your help. So if you want to help us do this, it's very easy. You take out your phone, you go to trilliontreecampaign.org, and then you've got the big Esri user conference button. You click it, and then pledge how many trees you want to plant with us. And I'm really excited to see how many trees we can plant together. Thank you. Yeah. Felix got to me when he said, stop talking, start planting. That was so cool. <laughs> well, uh, Felix, I want to help you. And we are going to be carbon neutral in this conference by offsetting everybody's travel. What do you think of that? Fantastic. It's uh, 60,000 trees. That's what we figured out. Wow. We took everybody's destination and origin. So here we go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Carl. Yeah. Uh, well, look, tonight you're going to have a chance to meet with Felix. He's got, uh, well, he's got registration cards for everybody. <laughs> so, he's, look, he is a person of action. That's what I noticed watching him over the years, is he socially mobilizes everybody and engages them. And uh, I appreciate you coming here and doing this. Thanks Take care of yourself. <laughs> Bye, Felix. Bye.